earlier this year, when you and I were, and we kind of tripped onto this one day, so we revisited it the next day, quarterbacks who are proven and not proven. Younger quarterbacks, who's proven, who's not proven. And with Tua Tonga-Vailoa, I said he's not proven, and the ultimate evidence of it is he's in a draft class with Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and everyone's saying, well, they need their second contracts, they need their second contracts. And for Tua, nobody's saying, well, he needs his second contract. Right. He's not proven. No one's saying he needs a second contract, including Tua. Here he is from yesterday when he was asked whether he thinks it's good for him and the team to put aside the contract and just simply see how the 2023 season goes. I think regardless of what it is, if they wanted to do it now, if they wanted to wait, whatever, I think for myself, I'm always a person that wants to prove to myself that I deserve whatever I get. And so, um, you know, for, for me, I feel like this is something that I need to work for. It's plain as simple as that. And look, he understands. We all understand. Yeah. He's yet to do enough to get that second contract. And he said recently to the Palm Beach Post, I have to prove that I can avoid injuries. He didn't say concussions. We all know concussions are the key. And all this jujitsu training so he can fall in a way that doesn't strike his helmet against the turf and give him another concussion, that's all going to be proven this year. This is it. This is the prove it year. They picked up the fifth year option and. You know, I, nice I gave you my there. theory earlier this yeah. year that they were they they just they they put so much crap on this kid with Deshaun Watson and Tom Brady, and they've been constantly looking for his replacement. And now he's gone through all the stuff he went through with the concussions. Let's just give him his graphic isn't nearly as as lengthy as Jimmy Garoppolo's, but it's close. Uh, let's just give him some peace of mind this year. Let's make the investment so we can get the best out of this kid in 2023. Let's give him the best chance to succeed. Let's bet on him winning, not bet on him losing. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. I think they thought, hey, we got something going here. He's going in, you know, a positive upward trend. And, yeah, they didn't want to demoralize him, you know, put more pressure on him, have more people pile on and question him and and are they committed to him? So they limited a distraction and took a gamble on the fifth year option, a calculated gamble. That's what they did. But like, you know, I'm with you, Mike, in that like long term contract, I, I don't think we're there yet. Like we said even before the fifth year option, I know I was saying I'm not sure I'd give him that yet. I understand why they did. Certainly not ready for a Burrow, Herbert type of contract. Yes, last year was good in a lot of ways. We saw some flaws. The injury thing's real. But other than last year, that's all we have to stand on right now. And it was arguably the best roster, one of the best rosters in football. So, you know, that's where we got to see healthy. We got to see consistent play. You know, we we can't forget the start of last year. He he was telling us he wasn't prepared the right way and didn't do things. And, I mean, we were splitting time with Ryan Fitzpatrick and doing all kinds of different things there early on in the career to where, yeah, he's got to do it one more year to solidify himself as the guy down there. He does what he did last year, stays healthy. He'll get a big payday when the season's over. And that's the key. If he stays healthy and plays like he did last year, he'll be in the MVP conversation. The Dolphins will be in the postseason conversation. They made it last year, and they they gave the Bills a little bit of a run for their money with Skylar Thompson playing quarterback. Exactly. Exactly right. You're right. I mean, it's one of those games where you go, man, if Tua was out there, they they were there to be had that day. The Dolphins were going to beat the Bills. They just couldn't. You know, strap together enough offense to make anything happen that way. But yeah, I, 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 we know this. This they got better in the off season. Their own line should be better. Some of those young guys, we know the receivers are through off the charts. The running back McDaniel, the offense, the defense, Jalen Ramsey, Xavier Howard, Javon Holland. I mean, a bunch of good guys up front. The Dolphins have one of the best rosters in all of football. There is no doubt about that, and I'm excited for their potential this year. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.